Hi everyone, I'm Christina, Chief Creative Officer at Squarly. And today we are going to talk about keyword research inside Squarly SEO. Squarly SEO is not just another tool, it's your partner in success. It's designed to make SEO accessible for all, enabling you to optimize your content effortlessly. So why keyword research is important? It helps drive traffic by attracting visitors actively searching for your content. It increases engagement. Create content that resonates with your audience. Outsmart competition. Focus on niche keywords to stand out. How to set up keyword research in Scorly SEO? In order to access the tool, you have to navigate to Scorly SEO, keyword research, find new keywords from your WordPress dashboard. To start your research, you have to enter a relevant keyword or phrase in the search bar. You have to select the country and language that you want to target. Review suggested keywords, analyze the suggestions provided by the Squarely's algorithm. Look for competition metrics, search volume and social discussions. Normal search versus deep search. Normal search reveals between 10 and 20 results, while deep search up to 50 results and it requires a business account. Leveraging AI in keyword research. AI-driven suggestions enhance keyword discovery. Provide similar keywords based on your initial search. Helps identify new content opportunities and trends. This AI capability allows you to discover new content opportunities and stay ahead of the trends, ensuring you're always optimizing for the most relevant keywords. So let's get inside our WordPress dashboard in order to see Squally's SEO keyword research in action. Inside our WordPress dashboard, we have to go over here to Squally SEO keyword research or over here to Squally SEO keyword research find keywords. Over here, you have to enter the keyword you want to do research for. You can select the country you want to target and the language as well. And over here, you have information about how many researches are left until the reset date. You also have access to some tips and tricks and, of course, to free learning materials. So let's do a quick keyword research. Let's click on next. And now we are in the suggestions phase. Based on the keywords you use to start the keyword research process, Squally SEO uses AI to suggest extra keywords for you to try. But remember, each keyword that you choose from over here is worth a credit. This means that each keyword you choose will consume one research from your quota. And you can select up to three keywords. Then you have to click over here on the research. You can do a normal research for up to 20 results or a deep one for up to 50 results. Now, the research might take a bit until the results are shown. All the processing is made in real time so that you get fresh information for each keyword. Every selected keyword will pass through an algorithm that will run over 100 queries on it and on the related keywords. It will check the competition with our own competitive clarity index, the social discussion with our own algorithms and search volume once again with our own algorithms for the last 19 days. We've been building research algorithms since 2012, and we use Google API and random drawer proprietary tag to define search volumes and more, so the data will be fresh every time. So now, let's take a look at the results. Over here, we have the keywords, we have the domain, we have the competition, the search volume, and the discussions. The competition will tell you whether you can rank your pages for specific keywords, so you stop wasting your resources, creating content blindly and going after keywords your site can't rank for. To analyze competition, we look at the top 10 sites that rank on Google for that keyword and their level of authority. If the sites that rank for a specific search query on the first page of Google has very high authority, your chances of ranking for that keyword as well will be much lower unless you also have a very high authority for your site. Then for the search volume, it's basically the number of search queries for a specific keyword in search engines such as Google. This metric 
allows you to know what keywords and topics your customers actively search for on Google. And for discussions, it shows you how popular a topic is on social media. So let's take a look. And of course, by going over here at those three dots, you can optimize for the keyword, add it to briefcase and assign a label. So basically, if you don't want to optimize for a keyword right now, you can save it into briefcase to use it later. As you can see over here, this is a very good keyword. So I'm going to go over here and add it to briefcase. And let's show you what happens if you select a keyword that you like and click on optimize for this. A new tab will open to add a new post and the keyword you have selected is already in the Scorely SEO Live Assistant. So you can start optimizing for that particular keyword. In case you want to start a new keyword research, you can go over here and click on start over. In case you want to do a keyword research for multiple keywords, you can either open the keyword research in multiple tabs in your browser and start a new keyword research in each of those tabs or adding your keywords over here and use a comma between the keywords like so and then click on next. By doing a keyword research again, you can see the two keywords that I started from over here. And if you want to revise the keyword researches that you made previously, you can go over here to history and you can see the keyword researches that you have made in the last 30 days. And by clicking on the show all keywords, you can see all the results. So in case you forgot to save some of the keywords by adding them to briefcase, you can find them again over here. So this is basically it for doing a keyword research inside Squally's SEO. Thank you for tuning in. Stay creative, stay inspired and keep optimizing your online presence. Until next time.